Welcome back everyone, my name is Echo and I hope you're having a great day. Today's Minecraft video, we're back on Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version for a brand new full release update. So as you guys know, last week we were given 1.16.0, the Nether update. I hope you guys are fully enjoying it, it looks like the community really is. Uh, but today we have 1.16.1. Now before we go any further, as me making this video, this update version has only released for Windows 10. So on the official feedback changelog website, Minecraft 1.16.1, the Bedrock version, our developers have been hard at work getting top issues addressed for this hotfix. Several of these were reported by players, so keep those reports coming at bugs.mojang.com. Even more fixes are already in the works for another update coming soon. This update is currently only available on Windows 10, but we'll be releasing to all other platforms soon. The update is still multiplayer compatible with devices running any version of 1.16. So you are going to see a couple of updates over the next couple of weeks. It might be 1.16.1, it might be 1.16.2 or 3 or 4. This is actually really good news because for me, on the Bedrock version, I feel like bug fix updates or hot fix updates are not introduced enough. Now in 1.16, there was some major issues. Uh, keep your netherite and your ancient debris away from lava and fire because until you get 1.16.1 or 1.16.2, they can currently burn. Also, remember when Yanni or Laurel it was a big thing? <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna go through all the changes today. Again, as me making this video, it is only available on Windows 10, but it will be rolling out to the rest of the be Bedrock platforms, iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation 4 very, very soon. Right, let's go to game, and let's go through this week's changes. So a couple of bug fixes that I'm going through today were actually in the latest beta. I think the latest beta was 1.16.20.50, something crazy like that. So it looks like the developers are focusing on the ones that are really game breaking before they focus on the minor bug fixes. So again, you might see another smaller update like this one to focus on some of the bigger issues. Anyway, starting off today, fixed issue with netherite items being lost in fire slash lava. I knew this was a bug. The likes of your ancient debris or any form of netherite or scraps or ingots, anything at all, these things should not burn. They should not burn. They should not be set on fire and disappear. That has finally been fixed. Now, I still think this is a work in progress on the Bedrock version because it's not meant to technically bounce. On Java, it has like a flame effect, like you try to throw it in, or in Java, it sinks down and then floats back up. I don't know why the lava on Bedrock version acts like slime and bouncy and stuff like that. Like, that's not meant to happen. Regardless, guys, your stuff is not gonna burn in lava. And more importantly, uh, what I experienced in a live stream is that if you put your debris in here in 1.16.0, they would disappear. But as you guys can clearly see, that is not the case anymore. So, yeah, be be really careful until you update your version. Finally, this kind of, like, how, how on earth does something like this not get noticed before full release? In fact, I think it did get noticed before full release, but they never fixed it in time. <laughs> Honestly, the Bedrock version is quite an interesting platform, right? So yeah, uh, this is the same. It doesn't really matter. And also a lot of people saying, Hey, Echo, you're in a blue flame, but why are you burning orange slash red? Uh, that's not a bug. They just never introduced the feature. I mean, the colors are really cool, right? But as they say in real life, a blue flame is a lot hotter compared to like an orange, yellow, red kind of flame. So they should have made this like, I don't know. If you were standing in it, you could die a little faster or something like that. I don't know. Feel like they, they, they missed out on a couple of features here, but yeah, it doesn't really make sense in terms of colors. Maybe that's something that will change uh, in the future. Moving on to a couple of the changes in this version. So, recipe select button prompt shows when hovering over non-craftable items using a controller. So there's been a couple of changes to do with controllers. One of them is whenever you're in a crafting table with a controller and you hovered over a specific item, like a cake, it wouldn't show you the recipe for a cake. Those kind of issues have been fixed in 1.16.1. Another one here is recipe selected items put in the crafting input grid can now be hovered over with the controller to see their tooltip name. This one specifically. So again, whenever you are hovering over a craftable item, it wouldn't necessarily tell you the recipe. I think one of the coolest things when it comes to 
Uh, the bedrock version is that when you are wanting to craft something, let's just grab ourselves a crafting table real quick. Is that it actually tells you like the 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 output, you know? Like let's try and get something that we can craft here. Let's grab this and let's put this in there. And then let's change our game mode to survival. Game mode survival. Uh, and you go inside of here, it then tells you like the guide, you know, so y it's a great way to remember recipes uh, That was not working if you were using a controller that should now work if you are using a controller when 1.16.1 releases uh, So we've been over this one. We've been over this one. The next one we have fixed crash when playing an emote and suspending the game so whenever you are playing an emote, I think it was to do with Leaving the game for example if you're on Xbox going to a brand new app on PlayStation going to a brand new app switch going to a brand new app So whenever you just left the game there and you did the pickaxe and you just left the emote screen on I believe there's a couple of issues of people going through end portals and nether portals as well uh, Those kind of things have been fixed. How are people enjoying the emotes? I feel like people have just like I don't know meme them <laughs> I feel like people have been this should definitely be my introduction right or even my outro so, yeah, a couple of fixes to do with emotes. Uh, this one, fixed crash on PS4 due to other players using custom skins. Now, PlayStation 4 players, can you explain this? Is there a method to get custom skins on the PlayStation 4 version? Because from my understanding, when it comes to custom skins, the only way to get a custom skin is if you import a skin. That is classed as like a custom skin. The rest of the skins down below... Well, they have like this little box here. This skin will roam across, like, there you go, usable everywhere. It says here, usable everywhere. So the likes of these skins, they're not usable everywhere. They're limited to the devices, if that makes sense. So, yeah, has there been a method for players to be able to import skins some way? Let me know in the comment section. But I think that's what it means by that, that bug fix. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the next one. Emotes can no longer be used before unlocking them so as you guys know they introduced uh the ability to unlock emotes and and cosmetics via your achievements i think it's a great introduction i want to see more things like this uh i actually experienced that there was a way for you to actually access the ones that are locked like this is the one i don't have at the moment which is just give a diamond to a friend i believe throw a diamond to a friend uh you i was able to equip this to like down here that's not possible anymore. So you are going to have to do the achievements. And if you've never done the achievements, I guess that's a small goal for you to work towards. And the last one in today's video, custom skins, once again, work properly on multiplayer. This is an ongoing issue. And I guarantee you, I'm going to cover this bug at some point again in the future. So, you know when you're playing Minecraft and your skin loads up like this and your character creator doesn't load or your Steve or your Alex or your skin has disappeared... Yes, that is what that bug is referring to. You want to have, let's go to this, you want to have an understanding of how broken this bug is? Here is the official report for this bug. This goes back to 1.13.0 and it's been available all the way to 1.16.0. And there's a little message here saying, although we thought we had this problem fixed, there's been reports of it still happening on 1.13.1 and yeah, <laughs> expect this bug to not be going anywhere soon. The reason why this is so broken is because the skins on Bedrock go across multiple platforms. They go across iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, Switch, PlayStation 4. They even go across Minecraft Earth. So <laughs> don't expect that bug to be going anywhere anytime soon. I think that's one of the longest lasting bugs. Uh, but the most important one in today's video is that Netherite is no longer going to disappear in fire. And no longer going to burn within lava. So if you're on 1.16.1, don't worry. You can still play with your friends on a different device who are on 1.16.0. If today's video has helped you out, hit that like button. Have a great day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye. Oh, wait. Wait. Bye. <laughs>